Around 315 million years ago, during the late Carboniferous, a crucial split occurred among land-dwelling vertebrates. Two distinct branches emerged from early amniotes, the sauropsids, ancestors of reptiles and birds, and the synapsids, the group that would one day include mammals. What makes a synapsid a synapsid is a single opening, called the temporal fenestra, behind each eye socket. This hole allowed jaw muscles to expand and attach more powerfully, increasing bite strength. Modern CT scan studies of skulls like those of Archaeothyris and Eothyris confirm that even the earliest synapsids had muscle attachments unlike any reptiles, a discovery published in 2024 by Dr. Smith's team at the University of Toronto. The earliest known synapsid, Archaeothyris, measured roughly 50 centimeters long and hunted insects in vast, swampy forests of what's now Nova Scotia. Its narrow skull and sharp teeth gave it an edge over amphibian competitors. In 2022, paleontologists reported a new Archaeothyris specimen preserving inner ear structures evidence that these animals were beginning to develop better hearing, a trait long considered unique to later therapsids and mammals, over the next 20 million years, synapsids diversified. Some remained small predators, others grew to fill new roles. Fossil discoveries in Oklahoma and Germany show that by 300 million years ago, certain synapsids were already experimenting with herbivory. Their teeth smoothed into broad surfaces for crushing plant matter, foreshadowing the later sailback to Daphosaurus of the early Permian. Recent isotope analyses of bone tissue indicate that even these early synapsids maintained more stable internal temperatures than contemporary reptiles, suggesting a primitive form of thermoregulation. This challenges the old assumption that warm bloodedness appeared suddenly in therapsids. By charting skull anatomy, tooth wear, and bone chemistry, Researchers now see synapsid origins not as a single innovation but as a series of gradual experiments, jaw power, diet shifts, temperature control that set the stage for everything to come. In this first chapter, synapsids proved that change could occur step by step. Their innovations in skull design and metabolism laid the groundwork for the next great phase, the rise of therapsida.